This is the walkthrough for room 210 at uh, Zoe Tree Villa Rolandi on Isla Mujeres. This is the presidential suite. Hello, lovely wife. As you can see walking in, it's pretty stunning. Uh, to the right here, we have the water closet, uh, single stool, single vanity. You've got some uh, Bulgari um, amenities in there, lotions and shampoos. Dining room table, fresh fruit, a uh, bottle of Moet on check-in, and just some gorgeous flowers. Those were all here. Down into the sunken living room, got some oversized furniture, a uh, curved smart TV there that has Hulu and stuff. Um, amazing wall to ceiling windows with the panoramic view of the channel and all the pools, etc. Uh, these windows uh, slide open as well. I've opened it there, so if you want the breeze, those open up. Just a beautiful view. There's usually a couple yachts and sailboats out there as well. Turning around back towards where we came in, you've got the huge bar over here. This was fully stocked. It's a wet bar with a sink. Came with all these bottles of liquor, water, uh, Nescafe for coffee. This the first uh, mini fridge stocked with beers and sodas. We actually brought those white claws, but that's a different story. Uh, some snacks, olives, Pringles, pretzels. There was a, a whole nother bottle of uh, tequila there. We didn't even open it. Um, some bar stools. This is an awesome thing, this little closet to hide all your baggage in. Our baggage was upstairs, but my wife loved that to keep everything <laughs> out of the way. Coming upstairs, we'll head down into the master bedroom and a uh, big master bed. You've got a small work desk over there, chair, and that stunning view. Uh, we'll, again, floor to ceiling. Those curtains have a remote control that uh, will close them or open them. But just a beautiful view at nighttime. There was two large yachts out there that were parked, and it was just beautiful. Uh, you can see the lights of Cancun. We saw fireworks from Cancun a couple times. It's very cool. So great room. Another thing I'll mention about this room, there was a ton of uh, drawer storage in there, which is hard to come by. So that was awesome. Bathroom here, uh, stool, bidet. You got the shower. There's two shower heads in there, one on each wall, a uh, window. It's also a steam shower. Storage here, closets. I will say that these closet doors were terrible. They stuck. They were just horrendous. Um, large jacuzzi, double vanity, big bathroom. And we'll head upstairs for the <laughs> Haste de Resistance, uh, the upstairs rooftop patio. Over here, this is the, uh, the um, marina where the yacht will drop you off if you have the yacht service, which I think it comes standard unless there's bad weather. So the yacht will drop you off on that dock. Uh, that little channel out there leads out to uh, Playa Norte and, and a bunch of cool beach clubs. It's really nice. That's where the Sunset Cruise goes as well, so highly recommend that. Stepping out here, you have a small bistro table for cocktails or breakfast or what have you. You've got a day bed, lounge chairs, another cocktail table. We had many cocktails up here at night. It was awesome. And then this view is just, I mean, it's unbelievable. Panoramic, as I said earlier, there's usually a bunch of boats out there for picturesque pictures. Uh, you got Cancun across the way. It's just stunning. Large jacuzzi here. You fill it up there. There's a umbrella should you need it. Uh, outdoor shower. Another awesome feature of up here is a fully functional lighted bathroom. That, again, had the Bulgari uh, amenities in there. So really nice to have a bathroom up here to not mess with those stairs. We did spend a lot of time up here. We had nighttime cocktails up here, uh, a cigar up here. It was just, just fabulous, so highly recommend it.